So the one thing I wanted to get two things with Michigan, one would be back to a X's and O's player personnel standpoint. Was there anybody else uh, on either side of the ball? I was thinking more defense because of the dominant performance, but through these two games that uh, maybe we talked about a lot in the off season, that was a question mark or a, a, a wild card that's, that's really come through. Yeah, um, I, I thought that uh, Vincent Gray had a great game. I thought that secondary, Vincent Gray last year was about as big of a liability as you can get. And, and so I didn't know if he was going to make it out of the 2020 season alive, whether he transfers out or whether he never sees the field again. But he has made significant steps, you know, he, he was not only uh, making pa a ton of pass breakups, but making tackles towards the line of scrimmage too. And so they led up, I mean, I'd say uh, Washington ended up having a good stat line from a passing perspective. Um, Giles Jackson had a couple deep, uh, you know, deep uh, post routes or they found him in the middle of the field. Um, but for the most part, they, that defense didn't know what to do. And I, the pressure was great, but there were a lot of times that I thought that, it was almost a, a coverage sack, you know, that he was looking at his first uh, and second uh, reads and, and he couldn't find anything. And so I thought Vincent Gray in this in this defensive secondary did really well because it was obvious that Washington wanted to throw the ball because they knew they couldn't do much of, against uh, Michigan's defensive front. Um, and, and I thought the secondary stepped up to the task, Vincent Gray in, in uh, particular. We've got Michigan post game here after every Wolverines game right here at the Voice of College Football, Michigan. And I, I don't want to step on anything that you're doing, Justin. So do you do anything post game? Uh, we do not. I mean, we do Sundays, but we don't do anything else post game. So, yeah, come to come to Mark. Uh, you'll <laughs> you can uh, get his post game uh, thoughts on on Michigan. Um, it, it's I, I we usually do it on Sunday after we sleep off a, a couple of the uh, drinks that we had at the tailgate and during the game. Nice. I did that to an Arkansas guest the other day, and then he mentioned his post-game show like five minutes later. I went, whoa, 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 no, 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 no. You, <laughs> you, you do me a favor here coming on. Let's, we'll highlight your post-game. Everybody go see Ty's Arkansas post-game. So I wanted to do the same thing for you. Uh, Justin's kind enough to come on here uh, to talk Michigan football with us on a regular basis. So definitely catch his Blue by 90 podcast I uh, just wanted to make sure that there was no immediate post game. So join us here at the Voice of College Football Michigan post game following every game.